So I'm making this series called Buy Photo Books, where in each episode I cover a different photo book with the goal of interesting you in the medium. I think printed photographs have great value, and not enough people have taken the time to indulge themselves in the optical exploration which can make them so satisfying. Thinking only with your eyes and letting your emotions guide you to meaning in a photograph is something that does not come naturally. Classes in school can help you discern your own meaning out of a work by providing you with the vocabulary to express your feelings and thoughts, but ultimately you have to find your own route to a self-satisfactory destination. However, once you overcome that hurdle, photographs like Moriyama's become your own imaginative worlds. A snowy, deserted ocean levee is like a hell that has just recently frozen over. A house surrounded by power lines like dark metal veins becomes something more sinister when presented in Dido's style. More abstract photographs can provide the basis for you to subconsciously script your own context. These photos are more surreal and abstract because they do not incontrovertibly focus on strictly documenting a pre-existing narrative in a linear fashion. And I may be kneecapping myself a bit here by starting this series with Moriyama, a photographer whose dark, void-like, and constantly convention-breaking snapshots are mostly beloved by the art world, but do not necessarily break into the mainstream, and as a result are quite difficult to generalize, even in a singular book. Nevertheless, if you're just happening upon this video and not already a fan, then I hope I can pique your interest. If you are already a fan, I'm trying my hardest to capture his appeal, but please leave a comment below with your own takeaways from his work. So that you can understand Record's position in the context of Moriyama's career, I'll give you a very compressed biography. Daido Moriyama is a street photographer from Osaka, Japan. Born in 1938, he's 81 years old as of the publishing of this video. In his more than 50-year-long career, Moriyama has published more than 150 photo books. He worked in graphic design in his 20s and eventually became interested in photography, studying under Takeji Iwamiya. He then apprenticed under photographer Eko Hosue, who made use of a dark black and white style. Eko Hosue is also a very famous photographer in his own right. He was part of the Vivo Photo Agency, which according to the Takaishi Gallery, positioned itself against the then-popular realism photography movement and instead developed more personal or subjective modes of photographic expression. And I think you'll see that ideology come out in Moriyama's work as well. Hosue also used Yukio Mishima, a famous nationalist author and very interesting character, whose Wikipedia page is definitely worth a read, as a model while Moriyama was working as his assistant. But I digress. Moriyama also claims William Klein as an influence, especially the photos from Klein's book, New York. In 1964, Moriyama went freelance and hasn't stopped since. In that time, he's won several awards. In 1967, he won the New Artist Award from the Japan Photo Critics Association. 1983, the annual award from the Photographic Society of Japan. 2004, the Cultural Award from the German Society for Photography. In 2012, the Infinity Award Lifetime Achievement category from the International Center of Photography. And in 2019, just recently, the Hasselblad Foundation International Award of Photography. But these are just a few. He has won a lot. Regardless, what is Record? Moriyama first started publishing Record in 1972 as a series of short photo books reminiscent of zines. The same year he published one of his milestone works, Farewell Photography. Farewell Photography is notable for its metaphorical deconstruction of photographic convention through literal destruction and experimentation with photographic negatives. Mark Holborn calls it the nihilistic climax of Moriyama's route to the borders of photographic propriety. Moriyama made it to five volumes of record before stopping because he was lacking inspiration and the Japanese economy was falling to pieces, which doubled the price of printing. He resurrected record in 2008 with the help of Akio Nagasawa. In the statement attached to the first volume, released in 1972, Moriyama says, More than anything, I would like to create a certain tension or antagonism between myself as portrayed in other media, and myself as portrayed here in record. If I record my own short and insignificant history by continuing to publish this booklet, maybe it won't seem entirely futile. He says in the intro to Volume 6, the first return volume after a 30-year hiatus in publishing, that I came out with the self-published photo journal Kiroku back in 1972. At that time I was busy with all sorts of work for magazines. Partly because I felt that I shouldn't let myself be carried away by it all, I developed the idea of this small, independent publication. I was addressing myself, rather than other people. 
Moriyama probably wanted to create that antagonism to give himself a sense of security. In a way, it's like when you join a group of friends and notice yourself adopting their phrases, style, etc., and then rebelling against it. Now, I'm not Moriyama, but I assume that he wanted to go back to his photographic roots in a way, feeling that if he were to only do work for others, he may lose touch with himself. So the content of record is a collection of favorite shots, unrelated to Moriyama's commercial work. They come from his travels and experimentation. Each volume typically has some sort of theme, which Moriyama gives in a preamble. The photos themselves, which I encourage you to pause on when they appear in this video, are challenging in the sense that they may have little face value to the layman, but depth upon examination. However, it is up to you, the individual, to find that depth for yourself. Personally, it took a while to find that foundation, but now the photographs and record are some of my favorites. In their dark forms hide monsters and creations of my own imagination, but not those that could be drawn out in some other way. The purpose of the series is not for me to describe photos, but for you to engage with them yourself. So here's a short montage of just a few photos from records volumes 1 through 30. Record is still printing new issues and is available in various places online. I will leave a couple of links in the description. It is actually pretty easy to get signed copies of individual volumes as well, especially when they are new. However, in terms of value, the Record 1-30 through compilation by Thames Hudson is unbeatable and is what I recommend. I will say, you can also listen to music while you look through photo books, and for Record I recommend Japanese post-rock artist Downey. I would recommend their latest album, but really it doesn't matter. All their music is pretty spooky. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And make sure to subscribe and tick the bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. Thanks for watching.